You are watching an episode of Teacher Techie. This episode has been recorded and aired for your viewing convenience. We encourage viewers to use the comment section for your insights and queries. The Buse College Student Council will gladly respond to your comments. We also encourage everyone to share this episode to your colleagues and friends. You can check out the rest of our Teacher Techie content via our social media accounts after the episode. Our Heavenly Father, the fount of all goodness and grace, the cause of wisdom, the source of intelligence, we welcome you, O Lord, to this auspicious gathering of your beloved who continuously give you thanks for every opportunity to learn something new and become fruitful to the works of your creation. We humbly come to you, not because we are worthy, but because we find ourselves in need of you, who is our strength and our hope, to continue despite the challenges we face in health, prosperity, and our solidarity with one another. We pray that today's gathering, made possible by the grace of advancements in technology and social media, become successful in its endeavors so we can offer it back to you as our humble offering to honor you, glorify you, and love you through our deeper connection with everyone. May we find bliss in today's session and become more productive children and co-creators of the earth. This we ask and pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Welcome to another episode of Teacher Taki. I am Kenneth De La Cruz, your host for this series. I hope you're all excited for another session of and inside on the different ICT tools that we can use right now. Before we get into another episode, let's have a quick recap of our previous episode. My name is Romeo Rabahante Jr. I'm a Google for Education uh, certified trainer and for 14 years now, I've been teaching in the college unit of the Ateneo de Sambong University.
internet has been of great help in our current learning setup. Information can be accessed easier than ever, but navigating this virtual space can be difficult and a lot of times distracting. This can be a challenge to teachers and students that want a user-friendly, distraction-free learning experience. Luckily, we have online tools that allow us to organize resources, showcase work, and collaborate with ease. For this afternoon, we'll be learning a new tool that will allow creation, curation, and collaboration within your class. It's time to ride the Wakelet wave in this episode of Teacher Techie. I would like to call in now Eugene Galicio, our Junior Counselor from the Information and Dissemination Committee, to introduce to us our guest speaker for today's session. Thank you, Kenneth. I am honored today to introduce our guest speaker for today's Teacher Techie episode, Sir Jonel Edward Gabella, also known as Sir Jed, is a teacher from School Division Office, Batangas Province. He is a Microsoft Education Ambassador, Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert, Microsoft Certified Educator, MIE Trainer 2021, Microsoft Innovative Educator Master Trainer 2021, and he is also recognized as the Best Classroom Teacher 2021 Division of Batangas. He is also involved in the Fisco Networking Academy with the following verifications. Introduction to Cybersecurity Verified, Cybersecurity Essentials Verified, Introduction to Internet of Things Verified, and NDG Linux Essentials Verified. He is also a host in the DepEd EdTech Unit MeTech Talks webinar. His other distinctions in the various EdTech tools includes being an Adobe Creative Educator Levels 1 and 2, Cliff Grid Certified Levels 1, 2, and 3, as well as being a Cliff Grid Student Voice Ambassador. He is a Minecraft Education Global Mentor, Minecraft Education Edition Certified, and Minecraft Education Edition Community Member. At T4, Teacher Tech Summit Ambassador, Certified Apple Teacher, Certified Ed Puzzle Coach, Certified Ed Puzzle Levels 1 and 2, a Kahoot Verified Educator, and Kahoot Academy Bronze, Silver, and Gold Certified. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give a virtual round of applause to our Wakelet Community Leader and Ambassador, Sir Jed Cabela. So, isang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. So, ako po si Mr. Junel Edward P. Cabela and for this afternoon, tayo ay magsasama-sama para tuklasin natin, para alamin natin kung ano ba ang isa sa mga social learning platform din na maaaring makatulong sa atin at saka sa mga estudyante natin. So, napag-aralan na natin before, naituro ko na din sa inyo kung paano gagamitin ng Flipgrid. So, for today, tutulungan ko naman kayo at mas gagabayin ko kayo kung paano ninyo magagamit ang Wakelet, especially this school year 2020 to, um, 2021-2022 sa ating mga students. So, at the same time, hindi lang estudyante ang pwedeng makinabang nito at mag-benefits, kundi pati na din ang ating mga teachers ay maaari ding matulungan ng Wakelet platform. Okay, so Wakelet, it is a free platform that allows you and your students to save, organize, present, and share content from across the web. So Wakelet makes the sharing of content fun and engaging. So for the example here, kung mapapansin nyo, there is a DAO document na punong-puno ng link, punong-puno ng text, punong-puno ng email, um, punong-puno ng mga links kung mapapansin nyo. So using Wakelet, Pwede siya mag-transform um, to become a visually engaging and organized Wakelet collection. So, from the document na punong-puno ng link, ngayon, pwede na siya maging isang Wakelet collection. Then, it is easy to share and present, especially 
to your students. So Wakelet is a free, so it is a completely free um, to use for educator and students. It is unlimited, so it is absolutely no limits on the number of collections or items you can add, and there is no limits on the number of collaborators you can invite. So later on, manilaman natin kung ano ba at sino ba yung tinatawag natin collaborators. Then it is safe. So it is GDPR, COPPA, PERFAR, CSPC, and New York Edlo Second Compliance. So meaning to say, so it is applicable din sa ating bansa. Um, it, is, um, it is safe. So meron siyang data privacy. So before natin itong ipagamit sa mga students natin, pwede tayong magbigay ng um, letter containing the data privacy. Um, all we need to do is to explain the content of the data then para mas madino sa mga students natin before natin ipagamit sa kanila ang Wakelet. So, Wakelet explained in four steps. First, you can save anything. So, you can save any content from across the web. So, pwede ka maglagay dito ng mga articles, ng mga videos, ng mga blogs, ng mga tweets, documents, yung mga PDF files mo, yung mga podcasts, and more. Then, you can also bookmark anything that you find online into clicks. All you have to do is to be resourceful. Okay? So, we need to explore para mas marami tayong makita ng mga, book, mga pwedeng mga materials na pwede natin i-bookmark, na pwede ding makatulong sa ating mga subject na hawak this year. So, you can also have the opportunity to organize and curate so you can easily, um, by using Wakelet, you can easily arrange your bookmarks into a stunning collection. So by creating and by organizing and curation, so pwedeng pwede tayong makapag-add ng images, makapag-add ng video links, makapag-add ng text, and more to make your collection meaningful and engaging. So if you're going to take a look at a picture, so makikita niyo dito yung example na... Um, very evident na talagang pwedeng gamitin ang Wakelet as um, collection for pictures. At hindi lang pictures, katulad na sinabi ko kanina, we can also use video links, text, and more to make your collection more fun and engaging. So at the same time, meron ka ding opportunity to collaborate with different educators, with different students. So using Wakelet, um, pwedeng pwedeng mong i-invite yung ibang tao to collaborate with you on your collections para makapag-share kayo ng idea, inspiration, and also the knowledge. You can also have the opportunity to create living, yung tinatawin natin breathing spaces, or yung magsiserve as the classroom ng mga students natin, where your students and colleagues can work together to accomplish amazing things. The good thing about spaces, so pwedeng pwede siya, um, for private consumptions. So, meaning to say, kung sino lang yung may code, kung sino lang yung may invitation to join for the collaboration, siya lang yung maaaring mag-join sa space na ginawa mo. Again, yung space natin tinatawag, ito yung magsiserve as your classroom. And by using Wakelet, you can easily present and share your collections. So you can share your collection to a single link or via our integrations with your favorite applications like Google, like Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, then you can choose from four different layouts to showcase your collections in beautiful and engaging ways. So later on, um, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano-ano yung different layouts na binabanggit ko. Then as you can see, may mga logo kayo nakikita dito. So you can present and share your collections using Google Classroom, Google Drive, OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, um, Cloud, and what, even in OneNote. So if you are familiar with OneNote, napakaganda din ito. At saka, Wakelet integrates with your favorite application. So since gusto ni Wakelet na yung tinatawag nating seamless and productive experience on Wakelet, nag-integrate integrate nila itong Wakelet sa mga favorite applications and platforms ninyo para mas matulungan kayo to improve your workflow, even your content, and share your collections easier. So, on the left side of this presentation, makikita nyo lahat ng mga, ng mga images or applications na pwedeng-pwede nating i-integrate sa Wakelet. 
Now, when it comes to wakelet learning outcomes, it is a quick and easy way to capture and share learning resources. Kung noon, mahihirapan pa tayo kung papaano natin ibibigay sa mga estudyante natin yung mga learning resources that, um, na meron tayo, for example, yung mga learning activity sheets natin. So, using Wakelet, pwedeng-pwede mo nang um, ma-share yung content mo. Um, and at the same time, um, napakabilis at napakadali. Then, it is a visual, engaging learning environment for you and for your students. It is a streamlined curriculum delivery. Yan. Um, it also empowers digital citizenship and digital skills for your students. And the fastest and easiest way to collaborate on group projects. So, um, sa TVL department, yung mga former grade 12 students, so nagamit namin ito, Wakelet, so for example, yung paano yung sinasabi natin collaborate group projects. So ginamit namin itong Wakelet um, sa isang subject din, which is retrospect batang batang genyo, na kung saan there is um, um, there are questions, there are set of questions um, posted on the collection created by the teacher or by me, then both of the collaborators are the students. So they are going to share their insights, they are going to share their, um, their ideas or thoughts doon sa Wakelet collection na ginawa ko. So as long as they are the collaborator, as long as they have the code and the link provided by the teacher, they can easily post um, different, um, different images or even add text to answer the possible question given by the teacher. It is a fun way to improve student engagement and performance by using Wakelet. Yung talagang learning outcomes na gusto nating makita ay mas madali nating mamimit because pinadali ni Wakelet yung mga, um, yung mga gawain when it comes to curation and collection of the um, learning resources. So there are, always, um, there are amazing ways to use Wakelet. So from, from grade 8 okay, to high school. So as you can see, no? So, from pre-K to grade 8, so, nandito yung mga possible ways kung paano gagamitin siya. So, in high school, so, we can use Wakelet to class introductions and icebreakers, yung mga group projects natin tinatawag, yung mga lesson plans, research projects in spaces. Yan. Homework, even for electronic portfolios, book reviews in spaces, Yung mga newsletters, especially if you are handling um, communication subject, field trip info, if you are handling um, physical education, progress collection, yearbook collection, book lab, if you, are, um, if you are handling also English subject, virtual library, reading list, assignment, briefs, and virtual field trip. Then of course, sa, ating, sa university, meron din siyang amazing ways kung paano natin gagamitin, even to the staff educators, and per, even in personal use. So, napakadaming gamit ng Wakelets. Um, talagang nasasabi ko ha, na walang imposible. Unlimited yung opportunity using Wakelet. So, I want, I want you guys to explore. Okay, so after this training, sana i-explore ninyo. Um, after creating your own account, please explore Wakelet for you to discover kung ano ba yung mga sinasabi ko. And there are key features, so for the collaboration, you can collaborate with others on your collection, so it is perfect for group, for group projects. Yan, yeah, lalo-lalo sa mga bata natin, if you are going to ask them to answer your, um, their assignments and reflection board. So create collaborative spaces for your classrooms and learning communities. They can also, or you can also copy the collection. So make your collection copyable, this way other users can make a copy collection to customize, edit, and share. That is uh, one of the um, good things in Wakelet collection. And it also has um, immersive reader. So using immersive re reader, pwede mag-translate any text on Wakelet into over 60 different languages and more. So for example, that we have, uh, for example, you have, ano, you have a foreign student, meron ka, for example, na um, student from Korea, so using immersive reader, pwede yung maunawaan yung sinasabi mo or laman ng collections mo. Then, last, embed collection. 
So you can, you can embed any collection into your blog, website, or learning, um, learning management systems like Canvas or Schoology. Now, as a teacher, how are you going to use Wakelet? So teachers across the world are using Wakelet in so many incredible ways. So through the power of curation, you can easily enhance your engagement and productivity for you, especially sa mga learning communities na meron tayo. So as you can see, pwede ito sa news, um, newsletters, collecting resources, lesson planning, documenting your pro, um, professional development, <clears throat> interactive lessons, and group research with your PLN or class. So how can, um, how can students use Wakelet? Paano ba? If they are over the age of 13 and over, um, for the students na 13 and over, so the students who are age 13 and over can create their own Wakelet account and start creating it straight away. So they can use Wakelet to complete assignments to enhance their digital research and even create visual portfolio that showcase their best moments and accomplishments for their time at school. Then um, if your students are under 13, so through collaboration features, a teacher can share a collection or they, um, the teacher will create a space for the students. Then at the same time, um, the, if they are over, uh, under 13 years old, they do not need a Wakelet account to, um, to collaborate. They can even create their own collections, okay? And then at the same time, pwede din sila mag-collaborate. Now, how can students use Wakelet? So they can use Wakelet for the assignment submission, for the classroom discussion, group research, digital portfolio. So napapanahon, lalo na that we are facing pandemic, so mas maganda, no? Na we are going to give the opportunity to the students to experience this kind of platform, especially when it comes to creating their digital portfolio. And you need to talk about project research. And that's your assignments. Now, um, how can librarians and tech coaches use Wakelet? So um, all they need to do is to share resources with the people who need them, to the mo um, need them the most. Then Wakelet makes it easier than ever to showcase multimedia resources in a visual and engaging way. So for the librarians and tech coaches, so pwede nilang gamitin ito for resource hubs, newsletter, um, digital libraries, events and media, resources for parents, session feedback, or back channels. And are they in a Wakelet enabled classroom? So you can create the resources, so you can create a lesson planning, student assignments, and class newsletter. So, padaliin natin yung buhay ng mga students natin, no? Um, let us also give them um, the opportunity nga na makagamit ng mga platform. Kasi, unang-una, uh, marami tayong mga learners na gusto ding mag-explore. So, kung makita natin na they are ready, okay, at may kakaya naman sila, let's give them the opportunity to use Wakelet. Then for the community and student ambassador program, so our community ambassador and student programs are all there to help you, to support you and your students and help you connect with other educators across the world. So in our school, we, we also have, I think, three to four teachers who are already a Wakelet community member then yours Trudy, I am a Wakelet community member, um, community leader and ambassador. Then last school year 2020-2021, um, meron tayo na yung program which is a student ambassador. Then luckily, isa ang um, school natin sa mga na recognized globally as a Wakelet schools. Then we also have 10 student ambassadors who pass okay, the certification program of Wakelet. Um, this year, we will continue, okay, so together with Mom, Mamaritas Mendoza and Bam Sara, we will continue this program, okay, so that mas marami tayong, mas maging, marami tayong maging student ambassador na pwede ding ma-recognize globally. Then at the same time, magkaroon sila ng opportunity to meet different educators, to meet different students from other countries. 
Then you can download, you can download Wakelet mobile application in Play Store and App Store. So if you have your Microsoft account, if you have your Google account, pwede, pwede yung gamitin or pwede, pwede kayo makapag-create ng inyong account sa Wakelet. Now, Wakelet has also a browser extension so you can easily save links, articles, videos, tweets, and more with two clicks. Then at the same time, organize content without ever leaving your browser tab. So gumagana sa Wakelet um, sa Google Chrome, sa Mozilla Fox, and sa Microsoft Edge. Okay? So para mas mabilis ninyo magamit, if I were you, I will, um, I will suggest you can use your Microsoft Edge since you already have your Microsoft account. Now, there are ten, um, these are the top 10 ways that educators are using Wakenet this year. First, portfolio, newsletter, lesson plans, reading lists and virtual libraries, ex entry and exit tickets, student check-ins, resource packs, view reviews and book events, collaboration boards, events and field trip planning. Then, you can also join the community for more inspiration and ideas. Now, getting started by signing up at wakelet.com. So as an educator, all you have to do is to go to, wake, to wakelet.com. So you can start signing up, okay? So you can add the wakelet to the arsenal of tools available to educators. So pwede kayong mag-create ng account niyo using your Microsoft or Google account. Once that you have your... Um, account na in Wakelet or once na nakaset up na. Okay, once na set up na ang inyong account. So you can invite others, you can invite your co-teachers from Talisa Senior High School or your students from Talisa Senior High School to collaborate and share your stunning collection with the world. So for this school year, um, yung mga haba kong TVL students gagamitin namin itong Wakelet for some of the activities. Okay? in events management services and even in personal development para mas may experience sa many students to make a digital portfolio or collections related to the subject events management services. Then for the Wakelet, um, useful resources, yan pwede sa Twitter, sa Instagram. If, you, um, if you're going to find more information about this, pwede ka mag-search sa Twitter, sa Instagram, sa Facebook, YouTube. Okay. Now, Ngayon naman, um, sa puntong ito, dadalhin ko kayo sa aking Wakelet account. Okay, so allow me to share my Wakelet profile. Okay, so here's my Wakelet profile. So as you can see, on the upper part of my Wakelet account, there is a search engine here where you can put um, put a text, okay? If you're going to search um, different collections related to your subject, then you can explore, okay? You can check your own classroom. Okay, dahil ito yung isa kong, dahil meron akong spaces, ginagamit ko na lang yung spaces for my classroom. Then yung home tab natin, eto yan. So upon clicking my profile so you can create your own cover photo here okay you can uh, you can add your own cover photo here you can upload a picture you can also add a bio biography yeah, and you can share your profile by using QR code you can share your profile in Facebook Twitter Bing um, I forget this one Google classroom okay so just simply copy this link and paste it kung saan mo man gusto siya i-post. Then once that you click this one, yan, this is a notification bell where, where you can, yan, where you can check kung ano yung, kung may nag-follow ba sa'yo, may nag-check ng profile mo, okay, may naglagay ng, uh, may naglagay ng answer, para ka lang gumagamit ng isang Facebook account, para ka lang din gumagamit ng isang Facebook page. Pero, Malaki ang difference when it comes to Wakelet. Then, in this ellipsis button, you can view public profile, you can view spaces, you can check your account settings, you can switch your account. 
So again, you can get your get this application on App Store, Google Play, and the and our Amazon App Store. So let's go back to the main menu, which is Wakelet. So on the um, I have here different collections. Okay, so I will show you some collections that I have. Okay, so for example, this one. If you attended um, different webinars from Etec Unit. So, ito yun, for example, June episode. So, I have here that, um, yan, pwede, pwede ka mag-set ng title. So, ito ay my Tech Talks June episode digital portfolio. Why digital portfolio? Kasi ito yung mga collections ng pictures, screenshots ng mga certificate. Yan, especially ngayong school year. Yan, um, kailangan documented lahat ng papers natin, documented lahat ng kilo. So, kung ano, um, kung medyo nababahala ka na hindi ka ganun ka-organize, baka mawala. Yung mga pictures mo, so you um you can start you can start now using Wakelet to make your collections, especially sa mga um sa mga M obvious na meron ka na pwede mong gamitin for IPC or F. Um for example, so yan pwede ka mag-add ng text, may very own humble portfolio. Yan pwede pwede mo siyang um i-organize. For is for example, my digital my tech talks portfolio. So for the first one. So, naglagay ako dito ng mga webinar videos na kung saan yung mga link coming from the YouTube ay hinilagay ko dito kasi, kasi nga sinabi ko kanina, pwedeng-pwede tayo maglagay dito ng collections from YouTube. Okay, yung mga videos. Okay, so after that, meron ako dito for digital poster. Lahat ng digital poster from the My Tech Talks episode of June nakalagay siya dito. And yung mga digital certificates coming from the My Tech Talks episode, so nandito din siya. Yan, napakagandang opportunity nito for you guys to, um, to make your collections more stunning and amazing. Um, then at the same time, yan, yung mga may report quiz yun. Nandito yung mga episode 1, episode 2, episode 3, and of course, yung mga screenshots ng mga speakers, yung mga mahalagang pictures coming from the webinar. So, next, so, we also have here, for example, ayan, di ba, last year, nagkaroon tayo ng mga virtual inset. So, for example, day 3. Ayan, virtual inset 2021. So, nag-create ako ng sarili kong cover photo for this particular collection. Inilagay ko dito yung title, virtual inset 2021, day 3. Yeah, and then at the same time, nag-upload ako ng mga pictures showing, um, showing, um, na naganap ang day 3 ko, ano yung mga pictures na nangyari during day 3 and also nag-add ako ng video. Okay. So, and so on. Yan. I also have here a home room guidance um, guidance for grade Actually, ito ay naka-private so ginawa ka muna itong public para makita today din. Okay. So, actually, you can set this one into public and private. Yan. Kung gusto mo, ikaw lang makakakita, you can set this one into private. Then, once you've, once you're done, click done. So, for the homework guidance, TV Alati, so I have here, um, different modules. So, ito ay last year. Actually, nakita na ito ng mga students. Yan. Merong 25 students na nag-view. Pero dahil rush yung ibang gawain, pinas ko na lang siya sa Facebook page. Yan. So, ito yung mga collections from module 1, module 2, hanggang module 8. Okay, and so, yan, show more, yan, nandito. Nandito yung collection. So, I have here 8 items, as you can see. Okay. Next. Okay, so ano ba yung tinatawag natin spaces? How are we going to make our first collection? How are we going to add our students um, sa gagawin natin collections? So on the left part of this um, of this wakelet for uh, wakelet page, ito na kikita niyo na mga images dito. Ito yung tinatawag natin spaces. So this is spaces. Dito natin pwede ng add mga students natin. Dito tayo pwede gumawa ng private collection natin intended for students. Okay. So with spaces again, ito ay naka private for private consumption, meaning to say. Kung sino lang yung may link, kung sino lang yung, uh, ano pa ba? Kung sino lang yung may link, kung sino lang yung may mga code, sila lang yung pwedeng mag-join sa collection. 
So I have here, for example, for the Wicked Ambassadors. So naka-join ako dito. So we are the ambassadors around the world. So naka-join ako dito. Then may mga nakalagay dito mga resources. Okay. Then for the Wicked Philippines. Okay, I believe that some of our teachers are also the are also member of Wicked Philippines, like Mam Ma Joy, Mam Ma Dora, and Mam Ma Arites, yun Mam Ma Ted Mendoza. So they are also members of Wicked Philippines. Dito sa um, Facebook natin. Then, um, eto for the TSHS Wicked Ambassadors, yun. Okay, then next. All about TVN. Yan. So, ito yung, um, actually, hindi ko total dito natapos kasi late ko na, hindi, actually, sisimulan ko na to this year. Mas ilaligay ko dito yung mga, pwedeng maging resources ng mga TVL students. Then, for the retrospect, batang-batang din yung nagamit namin siya. Yan. So, ito yung sa retrospect, batang-batang din yung, for example, ito yung sinasabi kong collaboration. So, pwede tayo maglagay ng mga cover photo. Halimbawa, challenge number four, paghingi ng payo sa pamilya, kamag-anak at kaibigan. Si teacher ako to. Naglagay ako ng isang tanong, ano ang kahalagahan ng paghingi ng payo sa kapamilya o kamag-anak o kaibigan? Dahil, dahil na-add ko na mga students ko dito, nagkaroon sila ng opportunity to give their answer. To give their insight about the questions na naibigay ko. Okay, so these are the examples. Yan. So by using this weighted collection, mas madali kong nag-gather yung information regarding this topic or questions na hiningi ko sa kanila. So another thing, um, aside from that, for example, dito naman tayo sa okay, events management services. Now for the event, events management services, so pinagawa ko ang mga estudyante natin ng kanilang sadiling portfolio. Example, hanap tayo dito sa baba. Okay, so for example, this one event proposal by Crystal J. Palomino. So, I asked them to create a collections. So, actually, hindi ka na pagsunod-sunod. Hindi na siguro na pagsunod-sunod ang bata. Okay. Pero, dito, nakapalagay lahat ng loob. Nakapalagay lahat dito yung nilalaman ng isang event proposal. So, nandito. So, it is converted through JPEG or PNG para mailagay dito yung kanilang output. So, sa pag-check dito, I think dito ako magsisimula. So, pataas siya. Mamamonitor ko kung meron ba silang ginawa or wala. Okay. Then, another one. Hanya pa ba dito? Hanya pa tayo. For example, for TVL Latte. I asked my student, yan, to submit a um, to submit a activity, which is their company logo, yan, their company profile, short company profile. So nag-upload ang mga students dito ng mga pictures, yan. So pwede pwede nyo dito ng gamitin sa feedbacking. So pwede pwede tayo mag-add this year ng mga feedback dito. You can also upload your rubrics here. Kung papaan nyo chachi kanya mga student, okay? So, ito yung mga pictures. Now, gumawa tayo ngayon na ating first collection. As you can see, meron tayo ditong, okay, back muna tayo sa profile. So, I have here, yan, pwede ka din, makikita mo din dito kung ilan yung following mo, ilan yung followers mo, ilang collections meron ka, ilang bookmarks meron ka, ilang group collections meron ka. Now, how are you going to start making your space or spaces? All you have to do is to click this plus sign on the left side of this page. Click plus sign. Then, for example, you are handling Yums. Okay, Yums student. Let's say Yums. Okay. Um, Freud. I'm at the spelling. Yums Freud. Then after that, click create. But if you already have the picture, halimbawa lang ha, halimbawa lang to. By the way, pwede ko namang i-delete itong um, itong collection na to or space na to. Halimbawa, okay, hanapin ko si Ma'am Agnes dahil siya ang Freud. 
So, halimbawa, ito ay Freud. So, pwede po siyang palakihin, di ba? Yan, halimbawa, yan, si Mama Agnes. Dahil siya ang subject teacher ng Freud, so, we upload natin si Mama Agnes dito. Yan. Okay. Done. Once that you're done, so mag-generate na yun na sarili mong picture. May it say you are the advisor of Jung's Freud, so you can start making your own collection na. Then click create. Now, as you can see, the profile is unpublished. So click this one and click publish profile. Yan. Para mas madali makapasok ang mga students natin. Now, after that, let's go back to Hume's Pride. Okay. So, meron ka ng sariling space for Hume's Pride. Halimbawa, si Ma'am Agnes. Um, gusto niya nang gumawa ng mga student or let's say, mag-start to siyang gumawa ng collection. Click create a new collection. Okay, so you can choose from different layouts here. Media view, compact view, grid view, and mood, mood board. So, gamitin natin itong grid view. Then, use layout. Now, again, pwedeng mag-add si Ma'am Agnes ng image dito. Ito ay example lang ha, since wala akong available dito na ano na, na picture. Yan. For example lang ha, for example... Ito yung, let's say ito. Okay. For example, nakapag-create ka na, yan, ng profile picture para sa estudyante mo. Okay, so you can start um, making your collection. Halimbawa, dito sa part na ito, homeroom. Okay, homeroom. Okay, halimbawa, advisory class, advisory class schedule, advisory class yan, Advi wait lang. Give your collection a title, ilagay natin dito, Jung's Freud 2021-2022. Yan, naglagay ka ng short description dito, okay. Na advisory class, pwede ka din maglagay ng quotations mo dito. As you can see, nag auto save siya. Then, on the upper part, left, um, right part of this um, profile, nakalagay dito private. So, let's make this one in public setting. Yan. So, pwede na tayo mag-start ng collection. Halimbawa, let's add, yan, mag-add tayo ng text. Okay. So, please, Okay. Please share your expectations for this year. Okay. Done. Pwede mo pa ba siyang i-edit? Yes, you can still edit this one. Okay. Halimbawa, um, for this school year. State your name. Your interest. Yeah, and don't forget, Halimbawa, don't forget. Don't forget to state your name. And don't forget to state your name, your interest, and your interest. Yeah. Okay. Once na nagdana na sila, gusto mong palitan yung layout kasi medyo nahihirapan ka. So, pwede natin i-media view. So, with that, pwede mo nang, mas madali mo nang makikita yung information. Don't forget to state your name, your interest. Yan. Your name and... Your interest. Okay, start. Now, so, ito, 
pwede mo siyang i-bold. Yan. You can, okay, i-bold natin siya. Pwede mo siyang i-center. Pwede ka mag-bullet form dito. Okay? So, once na, halimbawa, gusto mo lang makilala ang mga students mo muna. So, dito na papasok yung kinatawag natin collaboration. Click done. Once that you're done, okay, just click your profile here. As you can see, sabi dito, hasn't made a collection. So, balik tayo sa spaces natin. Okay, as you can see, wala pa din dito members. How are you going to add members? Click members. Kung meron ng account ang mga estudyante mo sa Wakelet, all you have to do is to click this one to invite a members. You can copy the link if you want or just simply give the code provided which is HP5CST. Pero mas maganda, once na meron silang profile, ibigay mo na lang yung code para papasok na lang sila. So, once na nakapasok na sila, mas madali na din na makikita yung collections na meron ka. Now, let's make another collection. For example, si Ma'am Agnes ay mag upload ng picture. Gusto niyang gumawa ng collection about her classroom. Okay, so, dito sa particular, um, allow me to use my um, pictures muna and collections. Okay. Okay, so example, this one. So, napakaganda. Nakakapag-start tayong gumawa ng collections natin. Then, iset na natin ka agad sa public kung gusto natin makita na ating mga student. And then, halimbawa, ilagay ko dito. My classroom for school year 2021-2022. Pwede ka lang hindi din maglagay ng description. Okay, so mag-add muna tayo ng pictures. Okay. Upload an image, then simply locate your image kung nasaan man siya. Then for example, lang akin ay nasa section latte. Ayan. Okay, for a while. Nasaan niyo? Okay, baguhin ko nila. Lagi ko dito, halimbawa, um, TVL. Latte. Yan. Classroom. Orientation, okay, 2021, yan. Okay, so online orientation, yan, pwede ka maglagay ng description dito. First, online orientation, and September 10, Dahil date noong orientation ako. 2021. Then, pwede pa itong i-copy dito. Then, add text. Okay. Copy. Center. Bold. Done. Then, you can start now uploading your pictures. Simply, click this one. Plus sign. Click image. Okay. Then, locate the file. Kung saan man siya nandun. Then, dati. Halimbawa. Okay, for example, this one. Ayan. So, I think in a few seconds, 5 to 10 seconds siguro, uploaded na kaagad yung pictures. Pwede ka pa rin dito mag-add ng description if you want. Ayan, pwede, pwede ka mag-add ng text. Okay. So, halimbawa. Classroom orientation. 
plus September 10, 2021. <clears throat> then click done. So as you can see, yan, pwede mo pa din edit yan. Okay, click edit. Yan, katulad na sinabi ko kanina, you can add or you can erase this one. So, nagkaroon na kagad ako ng picture. Okay? So, you can still add more if you want. Click, um, click this one. Then again, locate the picture. Yan. Sir, pwede ba na maramihan? Yes. Pwedeng pwede. Pwede mong i-upload that ng pictures dito. Okay, then click open. Then let just wait for a few seconds. Yan. Para mag-upload na lahat ng pictures na kailangan mo. Okay. So after that, meron ka ng collections ng pictures, collections ng um, images for your TBL classroom orientation. Okay. Then once that you're done, click done. Now, papaano to makikita ganito? Again, if you're going to edit this one, pwedeng pwede mong palitan yung layout kung paano makikita ng students mo yung collections mo. So again, click this icon to change okay, to change the layout. Then, piliin natin yung grid view. So ngayon, ganito mo na siya makikita. So naka-grid view na yung mga pictures mo. And at the same time, you can still add um, captions here. So, para ka hindi gumagawa na isang album. Pero ang maganda dito na sa isang space ka na na kung saan, students mo lang yung makakakita for private consumption. Eh, ba't naka-public Sir Jed? Eh, nasa space naman po tayo. So, kahit na nasa space to, tayo-tayo lang din na makakakita. Then, once you're done, click done. Then, just go back to yung spread. For example, si Mama Agnes lang ako, ha? Then, wakelet yan. Wakelet na lang pala diretso. Hanapin, ilocate natin yung space ni Ma'am Agnes para sa kanyang advisory class. Okay? So, as you can see, yan, sa Hume's Freud, meron na tayong dalawang collections. Okay? Meron collection for, yan, for, for collaboration, then meron din collection for your advisory class. So, ganun siya kasimple. But, um, I suggest Lahat ng para sa mga students ninyo ay dito nyo gawin sa spaces. Okay? Kung sa flip grid, ang atin ay group, okay, grid, dito naman sa wakelet, yung spaces natin tinatawag yung magsiserve as their classroom. Yan, I just hope na may nakuha kayong lahat at may natutunan pa sa session natin today. At sana magamit ninyo itong wakelet for this school year. Once again, thank you so much and God bless. Thank you, Sir Jed, for showing us this great ed tech tool. May our future teachers find opportunities to create and curate their own wakelet collections real soon. What insights have we learned from the episode? Let us know in the comments. When we return, we will entertain a selection of questions dropped during our registration. Stick around, we'll be right back. Hi, this is your BUC College Student Council President and the Executive Chairman of the Teacher Tech Project, Carrie Dominic A. Abihuro. I hope you're all enjoying our episode and I hope you're all enjoying the series of episodes we've made for the Teacher Tech Project from episode 1 up to now. I would like to uh, gladly announce that soon we will be reopening all episodes for you to claim certificates. And uh, as a gesture of gratitude and uh, our gesture to thank you all for your patronage for this project, I would like to inform you that soon, by the end of this series, we will be releasing a certificate of completion to those who will complete episodes 1 of the last episode of our series. So stay tuned for updates on our Facebook page and our other social media accounts on this matter. Now, back to the episode.
And we're back. And I hope you're back as well to join us in the next segment of our episode. I now give the virtual floor to our teacher techie executive head, Mr. Kari Dominic Abihuro, for this episode's Tech Talk. Ayan, mga kaibigan, good afternoon po ulit sa inyong lahat. Welcome to another uh, episode na ating Teacher Techie webinar series. Kasama ko now ang ating resource speaker, uh, kanina-kanina lamang si uh, Sir Jonel Edward Cabela or mas kilala bilang si Sir Jet. Hi Sir Jet, good afternoon po. Yes, good afternoon Sir and good afternoon din sa lahat ng mga future educators natin. Ayan, napakainit na Sir ngayon. Ano? Very, very hot. Sobrang init ng panahon at sobrang init din ang pagtanggap ninyo sa akin. Kaya napaka-saya ko talaga. Thank you so much, sir, for 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 the time and opportunity. You know? So, uh, i- ano ko lang kasi uh, maybe some of the viewers might notice na I'm wearing something different today. <laughs> I'm wearing yeah. a... Wakelet uh, t-shirt. Yeah, a wakelet <laughs> t-shirt. Nakuha ko to last year nung may uh, wakelet uh, community week sa Pilipinas you will get more we will get onto that later on kasi i i truly believe wakelet is such a very beautiful tool and uh, maganda siyang very very beautiful ang 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 community ng wakelet sa Pilipinas but uh, sige po exactly. sir there is a uh, set of questions here na nakuha namin during the registration are you ready na po sir yes sir kali yeah so, uh, Sir Jed, uh, I, uh, uh, ako Sir, I will be uh, na amis po ako on how ano bang uh, yung range nyo po on the edtech tools that you know. Kayo po ay uh, uh, yun Wakelet Ambassador, Flip uh, Flipgrid Student Voice Ambassador, Microsoft, Apple. So uh, yun Sir, na I think it's it's uh, napaka diverse. So uh, how was your experience po Sir sa pag sa pag uh, sa pag-obtain po ng mga titles na yun, what are, yun po ah, madali po ba, mahirap, ano bang mga, mga experiences po natin about dyan sir? Yan, sa totoo lang, when I entered ambassadorship, I always remind myself na I'm not going to enter this ambassadorship just because of papers, just because of certificate, just because of um, perks that I'm going to receive. Um, personally, ako as educator, Lagi kong sinasabi sa sarili ko na every time na kukuha kayo or sino man ng certification, alamin niyo yung pinaka-purpose kung bakit kinuha niyo yun. And ako as ambassador, hindi man ako ganun ka-active sa mga trainings na nito mga nagdaang panahon, but I always, um, always practice kung ano yung um, ginagawa ko pa rin before. Um, ninanavigate ko pa rin ginagamit ko pa rin yung mga tools. Actually, being ambassador ng mga iba't iba educational tools is not that easy. Dahil nandun yung pressure, um, napakaraming changes, talagang proper time management para ma-maintain mo yun. And, gas gas mang pakinggan, you need to put your heart talaga doon sa ginagawa natin. Um, sa mga future educator, always remember na you're not going to um, to do such thing para lang sa certificates, para lang sa para makilala kayo, hindi ganun. Lagi yung isipin yung welfare ng makikinabang sa mga learnings na pwede yung ibahagi. Ayan. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, indeed, uh, these these titles are, are more than just names, certificates. Talagang may kaakibat na responsibility as, as teachers. So sir, uh, I think let's let's proceed po sa, sa direct uh, questions directly related sa wakelet po ano? Yes. Uh, I would like to start off sir ano uh, how long have you used, uh, have you you how long ka po ba uh, in in using wakelet? Kumusta po bang experience so far? In uh, I believe your you, your school is a wakelet school, am I correct? Wakelet school, sir? yes. So ano po yes. mga uh, how how was the experience on okay. wakelet? Okay, so I've been using um, Wakelet for almost, for more than a year. For more than a year. Um, the first day na lumabas si Wakelet sa Microsoft Education Center, I decided to take 
the certification or the yung course. So pinag-aralan ko siya and um medyo naging busy ako that's why hindi kami hindi ako kaagad napasama din sa first batch ng ambassador in the Philippines sa Wakelet. But I know how to use Wakelet kasi pinag-aralan ko na siya agad. No, when it comes to the experience, um ako I could say Um, 100% of our students na nag-undergo ng weekly training, they know how to use and navigate the tools properly. At nagugulat pa nga ako kasi mas marami sila ngayon na di-discover na pamamaraan. They share to their fellow classmates or yung mga colleagues din yung mga school, um, schoolmates nila, nagugulat ako na, Sir Jed, um, meron tayong bagong magiging member. Kasi in our school, we have, since we are weak at school, I decided to create an organization which is riding, riding the Wakelet Club. And talagang masasabi ko na not only sa isang subject lang na pakinabangan ng mga students namin, yung Wakelet, even doon sa mga iba't ibang major subjects like action research, yan sa mga paggawa ng mga digital portfolios nila and yung mga teachers namin we are not using or we are not submitting uh, most of the time yung mga hard copy because uh, minamaximize na namin yung wakelet and link na lang yung pinapasa namin sa principal namin ayan thank you so much sir so uh, let's let, let's uh, dig deeper sa wakelet kasi Uh, the, the the first time na uh, we we promoted this episode uh, throughout the duration, I believe ang nakuha ko, uh, statistics around 70 percent, 70 to 80, they are really not familiar. So uh, though na 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 present mo na po to your talk, but maybe there are some who are just tuning in palang to our webinar. So uh, why not, sir? Uh, uh, even a very short uh, introduction. Anong Uh, what do we need to know, even in, in a few minutes? What is Wakelet? Okay, so um, future educators, katulad yan ang sinabi ko before sa discussion, ito yung uri ng platform na matutulungan talaga kayo, even your future students, para makapag-save kayo, makapag-organize kayo, makapag-present, at makapag-share ng content from across the web. And the good thing about this one, um, Laging nag-update si Wakelet eh. Di ba, uh, sabihin natin, some of the teachers, some of the schools are having their preparation sa face-to-face -face learning. With or without pandemic, Wakelet is a useful. For example, during your discussion, you ask yourself to create a portfolio. So, advantage mo na kasi hindi mo na kailangang magbit-bit ng sangkaterbang papel na chechikan. All you have to do is to gather the link. Invite your students, di ba? Invite your students to join the space you created. Then, it started collaboration. Mas madali sa iyo magiging pag-check. And as future educator, you will, be, you will have all the opportunity na makapag-create ng content mo. You can add some text. You can add some videos coming from from web or coming from your drive. You can also add PDF files, etc. Then, napakadaming add-ons na pwede natin integrate So, if you are using Google Classroom, you can also integrate your Google Classroom to your Wakelet. Okay, you can also integrate Wakelet um, using your different files. So, napakadaming pwede... Actually, yung possibilities na hinahanap natin, um, talagang all-in-one to si Wakelet. Eh. Not only for the text, not only for the videos, not only for the different files. Talaga yung collaboration. With or without. Okay, with or without account, everything is possible. As long as you have internet connection. Ayan. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, there's a question here. Uh, kasi I believe ko yun, since this is a new tool, syempre may mga terms, baka uh, need, need uh, pa, para ma-clarify. So, th there's a question here and I believe you've, you've used these terms as well in your talk. What is the difference between a Wakelet collection and a Wakelet space? So, go ahead. Okay. So, actually, uh, napakalaki ng difference between Wakelet collection and Wakelet space. 
Wiglet collection, pwede mo siyang matagpuan sa sarili mong account and inside the Wiglet. So if you're going to create a Wiglet collection inside your account, that is your personal collection. Now, yung collection na ginawa mo inside your account, it's up to you if you're going to change the visibility of this one into public or private. Now, inside the space, you can also create your collection intended only for your students. So, lahat ng collection inside the space, ang makakakita lang dito ay yung mga estudyante or mga tao na meron silang link or meron silang invitation to join the space you created. Again, yung tinatawag nating wakelet space, wakelet space is intended for the students na sila lang yung bibigyan nyo. But inside the space, you can um, create a collection. Ayan. So, uh, thank you, sir. So, indeed, the space is, space is a much bigger a bigger uh, avenue for for those uh, for, for those content na, na, na intended na, for students. Opo, sir, intended for students. Now, sir, the, there's a question here. I think uh, very good ito na ayun, uh, do, uh, based sa answers mo na 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 ibigay mo na but uh, what are some of the perks? Uh, what do you see are the advantages? I believe kasi there are there are also a lot of similar tools. I, I think Padlet is a, a another example na parang similar. So, uh, what can you say, sir, are some of the perks or advantages of Wakelet compared sa mga other uh, edtech tools natin? Um, katulad yan na sinabi ko kanina, everything is possible inside the Wakelet. Okay? So, ang daming advantages ng Wakelet. First, hindi lang siya pang estudyante. Pwede mo siyang gamitin for personal use. Pwede mo siyang gamitin um, inside your organization. And the good thing about this one, napaka-user-friendly. Para ka lang gumagamit ng isang social media account na you will be able to add your students, add your friends or family members. Then you can also different, uh, you can also create um, different, um, different collections with different um, pangalito, different content. Kasi di ba meron ditong pang, um, pang media view, di ba, if you're going to create some content. Then meron din tayong pang mood board, if you would like to add some pictures. Then meron tayo ditong tinatawag na parang uh, yung view niya is for column, if you would like to make some collections for your students, which is hindi natin nakikita sa iba. Example ako personally. I only ask my students to create your personal collection. For example, specifically, um, I ask my student for this week to create a collection about their task, a specific task. Then they're going to submit their collection or a link to me. Then I'm the one who's going to add their link doon sa column. So doon, with that, mas madali kong monitor kung sino yung mga students na nag-submit on time, kung sino yung nauna, pangalawa, at sino yung makahuli. So, hindi natin yung nakikita sa ibang platform. So, napakadaan. And the good thing about this one, so, if you know Flipgrid, kung na-introduce sa inyo, so, using Flipgrid, pwede kayong mag-recording inside the wakelet. Yan. Ayan. Yung napakadami ng integration dito, Sir Carrie. Yes, bro. I think, I think ano, that, that's, that's really the the best na na asset ni Wakelet as yes. as, as a Wakelet user myself. I've been using Wakelet for less than a year palang kasi na discover ko lang siya last year. Uh, yeah, hindi pa nagisa pero napaka useful talaga. Actually, I actually created my portfolio yun sir, na yes. portfolio on my field study using Wakelet exactly. and, uh, uh, Wakelet collections and uh, and I've actually ano dedicated an entire Wakelet space. Para lahat ng related to my field study, ay doon ko nalalagi. Indeed, very beautiful and how organized you can be yung pag-ayos ng content. Talagang napag And Sir, Ke Sir Kerry, alam mo ba, the good thing about this one, para ka lang gumagamit talaga dito ng social media, you can also have oh. your own cover photo. Yes, po. Diba? You can also have your 
e, um, cover photo and background image inside your collection. Yes. So, um, all you have to do is to be more creative. Then, dito kasi, um, if you're going to have your own account inside the Wakelet, just go to the search bar, makakakita kayo ng iba't ibang content na makakatulong talaga sa inyo. Ayan, thank you so much. So, ano, uh, I, I would like to proceed lang, sir, here sa, sa parang sa next part ng ating, ng ating discussion. Uh, yun, kasi na, nabanggit, sir, yung pagiging creative. And opo, I, I truly agree na you can, the, the, the possibilities of being creative ay nandoon. But uh, I, I would like to insert lang sana yung other C's natin. Ano, kasi uh, in, in our profession, there are the four C's na, na I mean, na, 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 na Creativity, collaboration, <laughs> collaboration, uh, critical thinking, and communication. So, uh, ikaw, sir, on your experience, uh, are these four uh, na, na practice na exercise using Yes, Wait. of course. So, when it comes to creativity, saan dito lumalabas yung creativity inside, um, inside the Wakelet or using Wakelet? On how you present your output, on how you're going to create your content. Then when it comes to critical thinking, um, ito yung mga ilalagay natin inside our collection. So later on, ipapakita ko yung mga sample collection that I have. And of course, when it comes to collaboration, yung mga yan, um, yan I always ask my students, um, you can add your content inside the collection. So then aside from that, I always ask my students to comment. Okay? So, di ba, meron dito mga like, may mga heart inside the collection. So, if they appreciate, I always recommend if you appreciate this one, um, for 5 points, you can click like. Then for 10 points, you can click um, click the heart button. Something like that. Actually, okay, so I will show you some of my collections here. Hold on. Okay, so by the way, this is my account. Um... I will show you some of my collections here. For example, Judy, since I love photography, no? um, I have here one collection um, which contain different pictures dito sa lugar namin. So the title of this one is uh, Share Wakelet. Then I decided to use mood board to present my pictures or gallery. So as you can see, um, the title of this one is Mobile Photography of My Hometown. So, I decided, since ako kasi, sabi ko, hey, um, yung memory ng phone, di ba? If you are saving your memory, yung mga phones natin, you can use Wakelet. Di ba? And then, yan, uploaded dito yung mga pictures ng iba't ibang lugar, sa lugar namin, yung mga dinadalo kong lugar, dito sa Batangas, particularly, Batangas. Yan, so, we have a strawberry taho din para lang feels like nasa Baguio ka. Different pictures of um, scenery from um, Taal Lake or Taal Volcano. Yan. Then, Taal Lake. Ito yon Taal Lake na sinasabi ko. Then, yan as you can see. Nakita no, dito yung Taal Volcano. Na medyo nag-aalbuluto pa din madalas ngayon. Yan, the sunset. Then, Kalabalay Isabel. One of the famous resort in our place. Then, I will show you another collection. Okay. So, ito naman, um, ito yung collections na during, during the My Tech Talk episode. Ipapakita ko dito, pumapasok ang creativity, yung wise, um, wise putting of content, yan, creating of content. Um, sabi, sabi ko nga sa inyo, if you're going to make a collection, you can have an organized collection like this one. So, I decided to create my cover photo. So, during June, June, last year, June, so, naglagay ako ng cover photo, then naglagay ako ng title. Okay, so, my Tech Talks, June episode, digital portfolio. So, inayos ko siya. For example, um, dito, naglagay muna ako ng cover photo for intended for webinar, um, webinar videos. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, not only pictures, you can also upload some videos, collections here. Okay, coming from YouTube or different sites. Then, as para mas organized, then digital poster. So, kinulek ko lahat ng digital poster from session 1 hanggang matapos yung session 4. Second, third, and fourth episode. And then, 
by digital certificates. Yun, yung mga nakuha kang certificates coming from the trainings, previous trainings. Yan, eto yan, nilagyan ko din ang design. Then aside from digital certificates, yung tinatawag nating mga digital, um, okay, medyo bumabagal yung internet connection natin, pero ilalaban natin to. Yan, yung mga screenshots from episode 1 hanggang episode 4. So, sabi ko nga, everything, yes po. Uh, anong, anong, ano bang, uh, uh, anong ba sir ang, ang ginamit natin na application para, para okay. ma- yung mga ano natin. Okay, so by the way, if you are creative, you can use Canva, then you can also use Microsoft PowerPoint. Then you mag, um, when you are using Power, Microsoft PowerPoint, all you have to do is to save your files into JPG or PNG. Ayan. Okay. Yeah. So actually, um, since ang ating mga future educators ay wala pang account sa Canva, I-maximize ninyo yung Microsoft PowerPoint. Just insert picture, then be creative. Magkakaroon na kayo ng isang picture or PNG files. Sir Kerry. Ayan. Oh, thank you so much. O oh, po, oh, ano the, 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 the showcase of creativity? Then, Sir Kerry, sir, one, one, one last time. I will show you, kasi in our place, in our division, meron kaming special program which is um, retrospect batang batang genyo. So it is all about personal development and, and education, education sa pagpapakatao. So here, so ang mga students namin may mga challenges sila. Mm. For example, for week number five, halimbawa lang dito sa week number five, so dito nag-upload ang mga students ng output nila. So kasi sa week number five, this, um, the title of this challenge is My Way. Okay, so na-explain ng mga mabuti sa mga estudyante yung gagawin dito and last October 2021. So, uh, uh, most of our students, yan as you can see, bakit Sir Jed isang pangalan lang ang nag-upload dyan? Kasi President, yung uh, parang dito, papa, ano yung mga ginagawa nyo para ma-maintain yung healthy, yung mental health natin? Ano yung ginagawa ninyo? So, So, ang ginawa ng mga estudyante, naglagay sila ng mga pictures dito. Yan, yung bonding with, with their friends. Yan, um, sumasabay sila sa pagkain. Yung mga madalas na ginagawa ng mga estudyante natin. Then, yun nga, habi ko kanina sa inyo, if you are creative, pwede kayong gumawa ng sarili ninyong cover inside the Wakelet Collection. Ayan, sir, I believe nakikita sa, nakikita sa screen yung pinagkaiba talaga, sir, ng ng spaces and collections po. Yes. No? Yung spaces ko po ulit. sa sa ating left side. Ayan. Yes. Ayan. Ito po yan. Lahat ng nandito sa si space, ibig sabihin, intended for my students and colleagues lang to. So, pri um, private ito. Mm -hmm. So, kung sino lang yung may link, siya lang yung makakapasok dito. Then, if I'm going to click my home, dito sa profile ko, ito yung mga public collections ko na pwede kong i-share. Sa tao. So, kung pinapalaw nila ako, pwede na lang bisitahin lahat ng collections na meron ako dito. Yan, sir. Ayan. Thank you. So, I, I, I hope uh, baka maybe after this uh, webinar session, maybe uh, we, can, we can find time to, to check in BBC. Sir, baka big, ano, uh, pahingin na lang, sir, ng link ano, para... Yes. Can Actually, um, sige, sir, isi-share ko yung pangalan ko dito sa, face, eh, sa Facebook. Sa Wakelet, ito po, Jed Cabela 0501. Ayan. So, uh, take note of that. Our, our dear viewers, you can check. Actually, uh, I have two, ano, I have two Wakelet account talaga. Pero ito ginagamit ko for students and for trainings. But I have my own. Okay, yung mga profe for, for professional development talaga. Meron akong bukod na Wakelet. Kasi, um, dun ko ina-add yung mga principal at yung mga pure teachers na pwede kami magkaroon na collaboration. Ayan. So, ayan. Uh, thank you, sir. So, ayan pa, no? Check natin at Jed Gabela 0501. Eh, Magpa-flash na lang kami dyan ng uh, mas malinaw na link. And maybe uh, uh, we, we will send in the, the link talaga para our, our participants can explore. And, uh, sir, uh, kung, kung pwede lang din, maybe uh, 
mag-showcase lang din ako kasi I'm, I'm so proud yes, and yes. as a Wakelet user. Opo, ano, iisingit ko lang na kasi I'm, I'm actually, ay, I'm actually a, uh, what do you call that? Yung bago mag-ambassador, a leader. Oo, I am a yes. certified community uh, leader. Uh, so, here also, uh, and uh, truly, uh, uh, dear viewers, I, I would love for you to to check out the, the collections that uh, both I have made. So, ito ang, here, here's one great example as a, uh, as I have here, Maka, maka share. I believe yes. Uh, 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 ano siya nakikita mo? Wait lang. <laughs> yes, uh, nakikita ko yung Excel, Wakelet, Resource yeah. Hub, that's BUC, College uh, Student Council. Opo. So here, as, as a president also of the BUC College Student Council, I've initiated to, to create different Wakelet collections that, that relates to, to, to some of our activities, yung mga events ng, ng council, I, I've decided na why not present them as a wakelet collection. And the, uh, aside, dun, aside dun sa mga sinabi mo, sir, ano, one thing that I would, I really love about wakelet is it really puts the content first. It purely focuses on the content. Walang advertisements, walang distractions. It's really the exactly. plain, simple presentation talaga of the content. So, here, uh, as you know, we are uh, ilang episodes na tayo sa, sa ating uh, webinar, uh, teacher tech episode. So, lahat ng mga uh, related resources, you can check those here. So, uh, for example, yan, uh, sir, we, we, uh, we've, uh, we've talked about Canva, on how we can use Canva as part of uh, our, our presentation of different wakelet content. So, naglagay kami ng mga, ng mga different resources. We put here different resources on how on how people can use Canva. Ayan, we had a webinar with Sir Sir John Malco with our cover photo, our background. So, indeed, very creative. How uh, we can present the links. Ayan, mga tutorials as well. Nakuha from uh, all parts of the internet. Uh, showcased, curated into one collection. So, and, uh, ayan, pati, pati ako sir napapalaban sa, sa internet connection natin today. Ah, uh, well, one more year, uh, when the college has celebrated its centennial anniversary, I've, I've made collections as well. And uh, I think very relevant about sa pagpapabakuna, a very good cause. I've, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've asked students uh, to, to send pictures na nagpabakuna sila. And uh, ayan, uh, uh, naka-showcase dito via this uh, wakelet collection lahat ng mga mga students who have participated on on their uh, on on each of their LGU's COVID-19 vaccination program. So, ayan po ano indeed, uh, Wakelet is a very beautiful tool, a very beautiful place to to showcase your your curated content talaga. So, ayan sir, uh, I I I really enjoy our our discussion so far. Um I have, sir, uh, I think, ano na lang tayo, uh, uh, mga few more questions na lang. The, there's a question, uh, there's a, a very interesting question here from Jessica Orgaya. Uh, nagtatanong siya, can you collaborate with someone in Wakelet? Pero, uh, can you collaborate with someone who does not have a Wakelet account? Yun, katulad yun ang sinabi ko kanina, di ba? Um, everything is possible in Wakelet? Yes, possible. All you have to do is to give the link then as long as they have internet connection, they will be en um, they will be able to enter your um, your collection. But I suggest, since Wakelet is free, you need to encourage your um, encourage people to create their account. So any account will do. Microsoft Google account will do. then um, one two three four five steps. Magkakaroon ka na ng sarili mong Wakelet account. And the good thing about this one, once you have your own Wakelet account, lahat ng possibilities na gusto mong gawin inside the Wakelet, pwedeng pwedeng gawin. Public or private. Ayan, thank you, sir. No, so, I hope nasa good yung question. Yes, you can collaborate, basta bigyan ka ng link, but better talaga if you have your own. Yes, inside your account. Okay. So, just, just grab the opportunity, no? Na Wakelet is free. Then sabi ko nga kanina, it's your choice if you want to use your Google or Microsoft account. Ayan. 
And uh, sir, I believe, uh, isingit ko na rin ito, I believe uh, teachers can can uh, invite their students, di ba, in, in Wakelet. Yes. There are very beautiful, uh, very nice uh, Google Classroom integrations para app smashing. Kaya yes, yes. Uh, talagang maganda. Maganda ang maganda avenue niyo si Wakelet. Ayan, sir. Exactly. Uh, 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 I, I would like to, ano, I would like to 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 talk about the the ano, what they call this the people the really the the teachers the, the entire community because I, I I think very beautiful ang ang, ang Wakelet community so uh, I, uh, how about you sir of uh, how was your interaction with sir other teachers at this Wakelet maybe from uh, uh, from other provinces other regions perhaps so uh, how how was it sir. Actually, they are happy. Sobrang dami ng positive feedbacks using Wakelet. Parang noon, they are looking for the avenue na gagawa sila ng ganitong mga activities, gagawa sila ng mga ganitong collections. But alam niyo, para kang may backpack, para kang si Dora, na nandito na lahat sa backpack mo. Ganun si Wakelet eh. So, mas napadali yung mga activities. I just hope, no? Um, okay, so, I think, Sir Carrie, gagawa ako ng isang collection. Isisend ko sa iyo yung link. Then, I would like na to invite lahat ng mga students dyan, yung mga attendees mo. To post some pictures, kahit screenshots ng kanilang collections and testimonies na anong natutunan nila. Then, mag-collaborate tayo dito. Yes po, sir. Uh, I, I, I would highly appreciate that. So, hindi lang natin magawa ng live talaga. But, of course, ang ating comment section on this webinar, uh, abangan natin dyan yung link. Ano? Uh, so, sir, uh, I think naubos na yung questions natin, more or less, na ano na. Uh, indeed, what, what a very beautiful session na, uh, na ano, I, I really find it amazing on how, yun, uh, Wakelet can be very useful both in and out of the online setup right face to face i be, i believe magagamit talaga siya so uh, actually sir Carrie, no i i want to share something dito okay first, these are the ways on how you're going to use wakelet ngayong 2022 so sa mga future educators natin so, these are the following. Kung pa paano gagamitin ng mga future students natin yung Wakelet. So, for assignments, collaboration boards, mga progress and development tracking, yung mga book labs, yan sa mga English major dyan, yung mga book lovers, yun, creating your portfolio in all different subjects, meeting the students. So, if you want to build or make a short conversation, you can use Wakelet. Research. Napakagandang gamitin ito sa research. Talagang from part one, simula pa lang sa title hanggang mabuo yung isang research, pwedeng-pwedeng pwedeng gamitin si Wakelet. Group projects. Then note-taking if you're attending different webinars, then you would like to create reflection. Everything is possible in Wakelet. Then book reviews. Then the good thing about this one, yung mga future students nyo, you can invite them to become Wakelet Student Ambassador. As long as they are um, over the age of 18 or exact 18 years old, mga 17, 18, pwede, pwede na. And the good thing about this one, Sir Kerry, meron tayong tinatawag na letter. Okay, so meron dito, since concern si Wakelet's data privacy ng students, so meron tayong parental consent before you mamit ang students ng Wakelet. Ayan. Thank you, sir. And uh, indeed, uh, uh, tumatak sa akin, sir, yung, yung tatlong main features ni Wakelet sa presentation mo. Wakelet is free, it's unlimited, and it is safe. So, saan ka pa? <laughs> saan ka pa talaga? Talagang mag, uh, let's all ride the Wakelet wave. Ika nga yung... So, uh, yes, sige, yes, sir. Ayan, uh, so, sige po, sir, um, I, I really I really had fun as 
uh, on our discuss on our on our talk uh, this afternoon i would like to to ask na lang this uh, parang a closing para to to, for, to close off our our session ayun po ano uh, kami mga fourth year students currently in in internship and nakikita namin yung mga preparations ng mga teachers towards face-to-face -to -face classes uh, and, and, and I believe uh, uh, you as well sir ma uh, matindihan talaga ang mga preparations na, natin for face-to-face -face. so uh, ikaw sir uh, actually this is this is outside na as outside the scope of Wakelet but more as a teacher na talaga itong question what are your advices a message of encouragement perhaps uh, para sa amin ng mga future teachers, lalo na ngayon na very, uh, in, uh, very different na ang ating uh, education landscape. So go ahead po sir. Okay, so once again, good afternoon everyone. No? Good, at good morning, good afternoon sa mga future educators natin. Um, I will give you some advices when it comes to educational tools. You need to be more patient. Hindi dapat dito natatapos yung self-discovery. Hindi tayo pwedeng as future teachers, lagi tayo sinusubuan. Kailangan yung patience natin to discover new things nandun. Yung eagerness to learn something new na magbe-benefit sa mga future students natin. And always remember, katulad din na sinabi ko kanina, um, when you have the opportunity to become ambassador or you're going to invite your students to enter ambassadorship program, you need to remind yourself and you need to remind your students that this is not up this is not about the certification it is, it is all about the learning na pwede din yung makuha then i would like to um also advise some mga future teachers natin na since we are still facing pan pandemic then preparation na sa mga face to face classes let's maximize pa din yung mga educational tools na alam natin na makakatulong that would be beneficial sa ating mga learners. They have all the rights and um, karapatan nga ng mga estudyante na ma-experience yung mga ginitong uri ng program, yung mga ginitong uri ng mga educational tools kasi yun yung makakatulong sa kanila para mag-practice yung courses na tinatawag natin. So I just hope na may natutunan kayo sa session natin today. And sabi ko nga kay Sir Kerry, um, one chat away lang ako as long as hindi ako busy. Pwede tayong mag-collaborate. Um, Pwede tayong mag-short ng um, small meeting using Microsoft Teams din para sa ilang queries, queries na meron kayo. Para at least na-address natin at natutulungan natin yung isa't isa para mas properly guided kayo while you are using this powerful application which is Wakelet. Thank you. Ayan. Thank you so much, sir. What a, ayan, I, I, I always say, it is indeed a, a nice way to close up the session. And uh, I believe lahat kayo na naging resource speakers namin simula kay Sir Franco. Ayan, up to now talagang, uh, all of you have been very inspirational. Uh, especially to me, is kasi I, I, I'm the first to, to reach out, but I hope yung, yung mga nakukuha ko ay ay nakukuha rin nila those, those words of wisdom. So with that, our uh, dear viewers, I hope nagustuhan niyo ang, ang talk namin with Sir Jed. Uh, feel free to express your love and appreciation sa ating uh, live chat. As much as we would like to continue this session, I believe that we are at the end of our episode. To our teacher techie audience, we hope that you've gained insights not just about Wakelet, but also on 21st century skills and the future of education landscape as well. For the Council to further show its appreciation, here is our CSC Public Information Officer, Vincent Marion Oro, to award the certificate. Good day everyone, allow me to present the e-certificate to our resource speaker for this afternoon's event. The e-certificate reads as follows. Certificate for your appreciation. Republic of the Philippines, Bicol University, College of Education, College Student Council. The certificate is proudly presented to 
Sir Janel Edward Cabela, for imparting valuable insights during the Teacher Taki episode. Wakelet 107 Creation, Curation, Collaboration Given this 9th day of April 2022 Signed, Carrie Dominic A. Abihuro Executive Chairman, Teacher Techie, President, BUCE College Student Council Jocelyn F. Guyana, PhD, Advisor, BUCE College Student Council and College Student Activities Coordinator, PUCE. And Lorna M. Nina, PhD, Dean, Bicol University College of Education. To Sir Jed, it is an honor to award you this e-certificate. Ikaw ay isang tatak teacher techie. Sir Jed, once again, I really cannot stress, it, uh, stress this enough. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for being part of this series and uh, I hope uh, sir all the best po sa inyo sa inyong school sa pagprepare po niyo sa face to face classes and uh, uh yun may may this not be the end hopefully when time permits baka may opportunity pa uh, the, to learn more from you on Wakelet and the various other uh, edtech tools na pwedeng pwede natin i-share to our future teachers yeah, sir Jed uh, thank you thank you so much po okay. Once again, let us show our gratitude and appreciation to our research speaker, Sir Jed. What a fruitful afternoon session it has been. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, Flash Now is the QR code and link to access the evaluation form for today's episode. A friendly reminder that answering this evaluation form will serve as your attendance to this event and will also be your ticket in receiving your Certificate of Participation. The evaluation form will be open for the rest of the next week only with the dates flashed on screen. The Certificate of Participation will be distributed 2-4 to four weeks after the closing of the evaluation form link. As always, allow me to close the session by leaving you with a quote. This time, from Peter Drucker. The only skill that will be important in the 21st century is the skill of learning new skills. Everything else will become obsolete over time. In behalf of the Busi College Student Council and the Teacher Taki Executive Head, Mr. Kari Dominic Abihuro, I would like to thank everyone for participating in our Teacher Taki episode. This has been your host, Kenneth De La Cruz. Make sure to follow the official social media accounts of the Busi College Student Council and we'll see you in our next Teacher Techie episode.
Oh.